It seems you guys like it when I try to game on ancient hardware. So today we're back with a banger. This is a HP Z600 workstation from 2009. And being advertised as a workstation, it's a bit of an unusual computer. Instead of having a Core i5 or Core i7, we have two Intel Xeon E5640s. Yes, this computer has two processors, each with four cores and eight threads. It also has six DIMM slots, a ton of expansion slots, some really nice drive caddies which you saw earlier, and unlike most computers which are secured with screws, this computer actually has a key to open it, and removing the side panel is like opening a car door. It's basically like a combination between a desktop computer and a server. Kind of. Now, this computer was never designed for gaming, even when it was brand new. But regardless, I was kind of curious what the experience would be like if I installed my RX 570 and took it for a spin. So I picked 5 random games. CSGO, Minecraft, Overwatch, Doom Eternal and GTA 5. There were some other games I was going to test, but in the end I never bothered with them since I assumed they would work given the performance of the other games. Starting off with CSGO at 1080p high and we're averaging between the mid 80s and the low 100s. I was a little bit disappointed with the performance since dropping down to 1080p medium rendered similar results. That being said, I was playing offline with bots and I noticed that online games tend to render higher FPS. Also on this PC, I was capturing the gameplay on the PC itself, unlike the ThinkPad where I was recording the footage with an external capture card. Next up we have Minecraft Java Edition at 1080p with fast settings. And the performance was a bit of a mixed bag. Jumping into a super flat terrain meant 180 to 200 FPS, but jumping into a regular world meant jumping between 30ish and 80 FPS, averaging around 50 which means either Minecraft is more demanding than I assumed it was, or it isn't optimised very well, since I know people will have issues with Minecraft even if they're using decent hardware, and I probably could have got higher FPS if I installed something like Optifine, but I was kind of curious what Minecraft would be like out of the box, so I didn't install it. Third we have Overwatch, well, Overwatch 2 now. At 1080p medium, we're at average between 60 and 75 FPS, with some occasional dips into the 40s. If you want a more consistent frame rate, you'll probably want to drop the resolution down to 900p or even 720p. Fourth we have Doom Eternal, which honestly surprised me because I wasn't sure if the game would even launch. Nevertheless, it did, and on 1080p low we saw around 40 to 45 FPS on average going up to the 60s and 70s when there weren't so many things going on, and going into the 30s during heavy combat. Just like with Overwatch, you'll probably want to lower the resolution to 900p or 720p. Lastly we have GTA 5, which did surprisingly well. It was also around 60 to 70 fps, but with no major dips, even while screen recording. So to conclude, can you game on this PC? Yes. Obviously, you're not going to buy a PC like this to play Cyberpunk or Elden Ring. But for esports games, it's doable, and even some more intensive games work as long as you're prepared to deal with lower frames or a lower resolution or lower graphics settings. That being said, I wouldn't recommend using a system like this as a base unless you already own one, because they have quite a few problems. Realistically, you're better off buying a more modern i5 or i7 system, like a Haswell or Skylake Dell Optiplex. This video is mostly just for fun, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, well that other button seems to work fine. And as always, I will see you in the next video.